Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I just want to do a quick bike update for you guys here. I've um, been MIA for quite a while, uh, for the past couple of months. There's been some uh, life things that have been going on, so I have to attend to those first, and I had a so I had to be absent for a little while, but I'm back now, so hopefully the videos will be more standard. Um, so I'll start with the forks. So here's the progressive um, cartridge kit uh, for the forks. Um, and then I had the shocks installed, the 444 shocks. Yeah. Um, I had it done here in the Bay Area at um, JLK Precision. If you are in the Bay Area, I definitely recommend them. They do a really good job. Uh, so that's how it sits right now. So in the front, um, you have an option to make it a one inch lower or keep it stock. So I kept it stock. This one is a 13 inch. So it raised the rear end quite a bit. It's kind of obvious, but it's not a bad look. I don't think so anyway. Um, I think in the future, I wouldn't mind going 13.5, but I think the 444 only offers 12 and 13 inches. I think you have to go, uh, with a different model to get a 13.5 or even a 14. So that's how the bike looks right now. It's pre looking pretty good actually. And as you saw in the other video, um, I had the headlights, so... It looks it looks awesome from the front. Uh, my friend did tell me that it's way brighter at night, and he can actually see me better now. So, and that's a good thing. And it's only eighty bucks too, so it's not my, it's not really something that you have to think about. You could actually just you know it's eighty bucks, ninety bucks, and it's very cheap. And yeah, so the shop that I had it done at, he just uh, they just set it up um, a standard. There's no special settings on this. I'm 205 pounds. I told them that's my weight, and then they kind of set it up for that for the preload. Um, I haven't messed with the settings yet. Um, so for the forks, one is a one is a spring, and one is a, the dampening. So you can only adjust on the dampening side. Right now, it's just on the standard. I think the metal the middle setting. So it's not anything aggressive. Um, I'm still playing around with it. I don't know how it, how I want it yet. So, and yeah, shocks are shocks are standard. Nothing much to say about them. They work really well. Um, I would say the feel. Uh, what happened is uh, I think the ride is now less mushy. Of course, um, it's more it's more responsive. I would say on the road, uh, but it's not. It's, it doesn't make you bounce around and stuff like that. So I, I really like it. I really recommend this upgrade if you are, if you hate your stock suspension. Some people don't, but I like I like it now. I like the ground clearance. I don't have to think about scraping or anything. You can still scrape with this, but you would less likely scrape. So I would say. Uh, um, I didn't scrape before actually on the stock suspension, but I had a few points when I have uh, a passenger where I would scrape the bottom a little bit. Um, when I go over bumps and uh, or certain angles when I turn if I have um, some weight in the back stuff like that so racing the racing the rear end kind of helped with that so um, handling wise it of course it dives easy easier now because you're a, bit, a little bit higher you're taller your the rear end is taller it dives in a little bit easier um, it absorbs the bumps uh, way nicer when I when you stop uh, the front doesn't dive anymore um, there's a lot of options you can do for the front you don't have to do this uh, specifically um, some people just do the the emulators uh, that you just insert in here that, that works fine too but um, I kind of want to if I'm gonna mess with the front end I just I'll just go all out and change the forks so that's what I did um, while I was at the shop um, the owner told me about the, the limitations of the fuel pack 3 um, that you can't really do a custom tune for it unless um, you know Vance and Hines has some capabilities but for the for the most part the module is a closed um, uh, unit so it's not something that you can go into and change numbers one by one 
um, it, like in a dino too, and you can't use that for that. So you have to use some kind of power commander or some other um, device. Uh, so he recommended me to, to change that out if I want to get more power, if I want to do a dino tune. But in the future, right now, this this setup is fine. Stage one is fine because I only have a you know air cleaner and exhaust. But if I'm gonna do cams. Um, head work stuff like that I should really invest in the proper tuning um, uh, device so I I kind of trust them on that since uh, I had power commanders in the past and that's what I've done with the, my other bikes um, I, I thought the uh, fuel pack was just uh, convenient how it works and stuff like that so that's why I did that um, yeah so I'm, in the future I think I'm moving into doing um, I think in the future I'll, I'll be moving into modding the the engine um, I, I think I want more power now <laughs> it's fine as is it's just I've ridden uh, other dinas with more power and it's it's significantly different and I think I'll start with the cams I'm just not sure yet but uh, the cams uh, I think will produce most uh, the most change and then you can move on to the side, the jugs, making it, make it maybe, maybe a, there's like a 110 kit for a 103. It probably do that, but that's pretty pricey. It's like around two thousand dollars. So the cams, around five hundred or so, or two, two to three hundred, five hundred, and you can get something. You can get some um, performance gain already. So I think that's a pretty good. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good investment. And um, I'm thinking about like I, I think I think I think I mentioned this before. I think I mentioned this before. I I wanted to uh, do a dual dual brake in the front now. So I'm trying to look for a low rider that could uh, sell their parts. <laughs> I don't want to buy brand new because how are you gonna deal with the used the rotor on the other side and you know a brand new one on this side? It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, other than that, other than those two things, I think the suspension is uh, the most important upgrade you could do to your bike. Um, suspend, I think for cars it's the same thing too. Suspension makes a whole lot of difference. Um, you can there's more usable. Um, if you can handle the bike's handle, if you improve the bike's handling without changing the horsepower, you're you're still gonna have a better bike. So. So other than that, there's not much else to say. Uh, moving forward, I'll I don't know what what's the next step for me. I don't because uh, the suspension was the biggest thing for me that I couldn't get over until <laughs> until I had a chance to. So now I could look into probably performance mods. Um, when that happens, I guess yeah, you you guys will find out um, what I choose to go with. But I really want the dual front disc brakes. On this bike, uh, it's both cosmetic and performance for me. I think that's what I feel. I, it it ha it's it breaks fine now, but on certain situations, mm, uh, it's very rare. But I I got in the hang of just using the you know as is. But I trust myself better with dual br dual brakes on the front. I don't know how, um, I don't know how, when I'm gonna be able to do that. It's kind of a, it's kind of expensive because. I could keep these wheels as well, but while I'm at it, I think I'm going to change them out too. So, anyway, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's not much else to say, but uh, that's the only thing that's different for now. Um, it's looking really good down though. Uh, the black shocks, yeah. And the stance, I like, I like, it, I like how the stance is now. It's awesome. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting some more touring um, accessories because I want to take this on a long trip soon, and um, I need I need something to strap the bag into, and a bag here, a saddle bag. So I'm still looking around for those. So there's a lot of things going on that I still want to do for this bike. So I'm not done. And yeah, hopefully um, something will happen soon. I'm getting kind of antsy. All right. Thank you, guys.